All right, I'm back with some more Swords and Sandals Immortals, and the journey of Crixus the Gaul continues. Last time we challenged the second of the Grand Champions, and it was the man Spartacus himself. And well, Spartacus is with us no more. It was either us or him, lads. We had no choice but to slay an old friend of ours. So the plan for today is simple. We are going to buy a new mount, mainly because we need the increased movement speed. We are going to spend 20,000 on this spider here. We do need to be level 24, but I can level up right now and we are 23. So that's fine, but we are going to now ride a spider. I don't know why the spider is faster than the horse. Maybe it's the extra legs. Who knows? All right, now that we have that sorted, it is time to start today's mission. So here is the plan going forward. We are going to travel north to this level 22 area and then we're going to hit up the 24 area. I'm going to aim to defeat the regional champion in both and once we've done that we should be ready to challenge grand champion number 3. So that being said it is time to travel although for some reason it is saying 20 days of travel and it is not showing my new steed. Alright there we go we just had to reload. So now if we take a look, it is going to take us 8 days to travel instead of the original 19. Alright, we have arrived at the new city. Before we jump into any fights, we are going to check out the weaponsmith and the armorer to see if they have anything new because we have just spent 8 days traveling. Okay, these shoulder guards are pretty good. They are designed for a mage, but to be honest with you, they give you like 80 more armor than our current ones. So we will buy them. And I mean, increasing Crixus's intelligence won't do any harm either, because the guy is brain dead, so he could do with an extra brain cell. Alright, here are the regional gladiators we can fight. Judging on their power scores, we're overleveled for this, and I'm not surprised to be honest with you. We did gain a lot more levels from the last two places than I was expecting. So what we will do is, we will challenge the strongest person here. It is this level 26 priest. And if we can defeat her in battle, I'll skip the rest and we will see you at the regional champion. Alright, priest, what have you got for me? Okay, you're smart and you have a lot of health. Fair enough. Although that being said, guys, she can't be that smart if she just got into a fight with Crixus the Gaul. We're starting off with the mighty smash. The Leaper Lions and her armor is gone. Hit her with the old power attack. Okay, we are electrified, which is a bit awkward. Maybe the unholy smite could kill her if it lands. And it doesn't land. One of these days we will actually kill someone with the unholy smite. But until that day... We're just going to have to slice and dice, lads. We are just going to have to cut them up. And we are done. Okay, this area is pretty easy. I will see you at the regional champion. Adios, priest. We won't be seeing you again. All right, this is it. We have defeated all the regional gladiators. It is time for the regional champion. Although the shop has reset, so we will take a quick look at the armor. If there's anything worth picking up before we... Uh, Fight to the death, you know how it is, lads. I think we're going to pick up some new trousers. They don't give us much more armor. It's about 20 more armor. But three agility rather than bow mastery might come in handy. The pole arm mastery is irrelevant because we don't use a pole arm. And there are no new weapons. So, that being said, the only thing left to do now is to challenge the regional champion. And they are 234 power. That is quite the jump. When the strongest gladiator you can fight is 160, and then you're expected to face a champion of 234. They have 54 more power than us. What? <laughs> this is supposed to be a level 22 area. We are over leveled by 4. Yet we are still under power by 54. Here we go. We could be in for a fight of our lives. Selfastus? Oh no, it's a wizard. Hang on a minute. You don't look very wizard-like. Alright, I'm assuming he has the brain power. Yep, okay, 35 intellect. Although, 
That attack is also scary. 43 attack. That means his hit accuracy is going to be insane. His strength is 1, which means the damage won't be very high, I don't think. Oh my god, he has armor for days, stamina for days. We have to roll an 8. Okay, we got the initial attack. That, that might come in handy. We just broke 400 armor from the first hit. That might also come in handy. The Leap of the Lions break a bit more of that armor. We resisted his electrical attack, which is great. We're going to go for the Barbarian Storm. Okay, what do we have here, to be honest with you, lads? Maybe the Mighty Smash might help us. What do we have here? I guess we just lunge at the guy. We've already activated our superpower. We have, what was it, double health regen, although he has yet to hit us. One more turn and our warrior strike will come back, so we'll just delay until then. Oh no, that was quite the hit, I won't lie. He has lit us on fire and has damaged a good chunk of our armor. This can break the remainder of his armor. All right. Oh no, now we're frozen. Make up your mind. Can we be on fire and frozen at the same time? Are there any scientists watching this that could inform me whether we can burn and freeze at the same time? But either way, we're going to try and land the unholy smite. If it lands, he is dead. If it doesn't land, this fight is going to continue for however long. It landed. We killed someone with the unholy smite. We did it. We actually did it. Well, cheerio, my friend. Cheerio. We have defeated another regional champion who had 54 more power than us. All hail Crixus the Gaul. That's what we like to see. Champion of Karken. All right, well, as we have defeated the regional champion, it is time to move on to the next area. We are going to hit up Helmgard and defeat the regional champion there. All right, we have arrived at Helmgard and the shops have restocked. So I guess we check out what they have. Does the armor have anything for us? Okay, some holy gear, but we have learned our lesson. We cannot buy holy gear. I am an unholy man. There is this noob shield here that actually is way better than our current one. So we'll have to remember that one. It's going to cost us 21,000. Other than that, I don't think there's any other armor. We shall check the weapons first before we buy that shield. A 41 damage sword. It's one-handed. Hold on a minute. We just found a sword that does nearly double our current damage, is one-handed, is not holy. We are buying that. And with our leftover cash, I guess we buy the noob shield as well. We're going to look like a bit of a noob, but to be honest with you, I don't care. I'd look like a noob if it gave me stats like that. All right, so it is time to go to the arena. We are going to challenge the toughest guy like last time, and if we defeat them, no problem. We will then skip to the regional champion. Okay, so the toughest guy is 174 power Ooh. score. We only have to roll a 4 to start this fight. If we can't even do that, I really don't know what we got going for us anymore. And we roll a 5. We just barely did it. <laughs> Typical, man. Alright, let's get rid of some of this armor, shall we? She, she threw her mace at us. Why would you throw your mace at us? What, what was the play there? I don't know what the play was, but we are going to just tear her armor apart. We only have to get rid of the helmet now. Although, actually, a power attack might just bypass the helmet. Yep. You can't run away from us. You can't run away from us. And we're done. Alright, pretty straightforward fight. We didn't take any damage whatsoever. So, I will see you at the regional champion once again. All right, we have defeated all the gladiators, so it is time to challenge the regional champion. We are now level 29 with 199 power. Hold on a minute. The regional champion only has 211 power? All right, show yourself. Oh, no. 
monolith. Is this basically like Frankenstein's monster? Oh no, this is the champion of Helmgard. He is a knight, which means his defense is pretty good, and he is stacked with health. Although that being said, his strength is pretty good as well. So he's hard hitting, high health, high defense, although his accuracy might be a bit hit or miss. Alright, we only have to roll a 4. Please. Please. Okay, we got the 15. Because of his defense stat and vitality, our accuracy is terrible. This is not good, lads. This is not good. Some of our strongest abilities only have a 50% chance of hitting. And he has blocked the first of our hits. We did block his hit as well. And he has blocked the second of the hits. We're getting stressed. Oh, no. Okay. Um, what about an unholy smite? Okay, there we go. That's something at least. We have broke his shield, so our accuracy has increased a bit. This is great, although uh, we're still struggling, I won't lie. Maybe we just land a quick attack, just so we don't get stressed out. There we go. Right, a warrior strike again. Second attempt. Come on. Alright, that's some more of his armor gone. We're not doing bad, lads. We aren't doing bad. We're still in this fight. We don't have to be worried yet. We dealt some physical damage. That's nice, but I was aiming for the remainder of his armor. I won't lie. And there we go. His armor is gone. Hit him with the lead. Oh, man. He's still blocking our hits pretty well. Gamble with a power attack, and he blocked it. Gamble with another power attack. He didn't block that one. Hit him with the medium. He blocked that one. Oh, no. All right. Human spirit. Come on. We channel the human spirit. What do we have? We have a warrior strike. That's great. That is great. He's turned into a rock. Oh, no. Well, we're just going to have to rest up. There is nothing we can do. When he's gone into his little rock mode like that. We just have to wait. We'll wiggle backwards a little bit. Right, come on, buddy. We'll wiggle backwards a little bit more. Are you actually going to do anything or are you going to nap all day? Alright, Reaper Lions. 99% chance of hitting. That is great. We have hit. For some reason, he has swapped position. This is a bit weird, having the wheel reversed. We can land the mighty smash. Combine that with a power hit. Oh, no. Maybe a medium hit, because that should actually kill him. There we go. We have defeated the regional champion. In terms of damage dealt to us, he didn't really do anything. He destroyed a bit of my armor. But other than that, it was just the fact that we were struggling to hit him. <laughs> but either way, he is dead now. All hail Crixus the Gaul, champion of Helmgard. Alright, we have defeated both of the regional champions that I originally set out to defeat. That being said, it is now time for the third grand champion. Last time when we faced Spartacus, we were pretty overleveled. I won't lie, lads. The fight was a lot easier than I was expecting. Because we lost the first Grand Champion fight, I didn't want to return until I felt ready. And well, we were over ready by miles. The question is, is this going to be the same? We're level 30 with 206 power. We're going to see what the Grand Champion is, I guess. It is time for Grand Champion 3. We are blessed today in the presence of the Kali de Pope. Oh no, it's the church. We're fighting the Pope. The Pope himself has entered the arena to give us a beating. Oh man. Here we go. <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, lads, but we're going to beat up the Pope. Okay, so power wise, we have one more power than him, but stat wise, he is very intelligent and very charismatic. And he is level 25. 
All right, well, we have to roll a six. Can we get off to a good start? We cannot. Did the pop just try bonking me on the head with his stick? Oh, man, 99 accuracy and everything. Well, I think this might be a slaughter, lads. I won't lie. This could be brutal for the pop. Oh, never mind. I ain't getting poisoned or whatever already, buddy. Oh, he's just lit me on fire instead. Fair enough, Poppy boy. You're using some odd moves, pal. I don't know a Pope who lights his opponents on fire or curses them with some sort of death magic. What kind of Pope is this? And now we're frozen. This guy, what is he doing to us? Can we land the unholy smite? We can. We just unholy smited the Pope, the holiest man there is. I won't lie, lads. He is tearing us apart with this magic. This magic is causing us a lot of issues. What am I supposed to do if he just spams freeze? You can't keep spamming freeze. What? This isn't fair. We're actually going to lose to the Pope. We have lost to the Pope because he is spamming me with all this stuff and there's nothing I can do. We're just frozen. We're dead. The Pope has killed us. We actually just lost to the Pope. All right, we're going back in. I know what mistake I made this time. I think we used our ability, the Holy Spirit, too early. All right, we got the starter hit. That is great. And not the Holy Spirit, I mean the human spirit. It cleanses all negative status effects, so we should have waited until we were on fire, frozen, and poisoned, and we could have got rid of them all in one go. Instead, I used it on the first spell he cast, and well, it was a waste. I won't lie, lads. All right, come on. Let's defeat the Pope. We need to hit him with the mighty smash, I think, and get that stun in early. All right, come on. We are still on fire, and we've lost a bit of health from it. But I thought he was going to spell spam us like last time, I won't lie. If I stab him in the head and get rid of his helmet. That didn't quite go to plan. Hang on a minute. If we land another power hit and it bypasses the armor, he's dead. We have defeated the Pope. We have defeated the Pope. <laughs> really? Oh, man. He cast one spell this time. Last time, he just spell spammed us. This time, nothing. Cast one fireball and that was it. He was done. All right. The Pope has fallen, which means Crixus has defeated the third grand champion. I think we're going to take a strength stat. Why not? And probably the stars that we just lost challenging him a second time. But that is going to be it for this part of Crixus the Goal in our Swords and Sandals Immortals playthrough. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.